just admit, an inkling of you thought that I was on the PR list for like a one second, right? Like you at least thought I was. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today's video is very, very exciting because I just got a package in the mail and I literally had to go down there and call the emergency hotline number because today is Good Friday. So our office was closed and I was like, there's no way I'm going to let Friday pass without me uploading this video. And it is the KKW Beauty Concealer Kit Review. I'm like so excited right now. I was going to like take everything out the box, but when I opened it up and saw that she had like KKW Beauty inside the cardboard, I was kind of impressed. I was like, let me show you guys what the regular Smegula package looks like. I know you guys have been seeing all the PR packages, but even the regular Smegula package looks kind of good. So, so I don't feel too shaded. You know what I mean? Like when I was looking at the PR packages, I was like, damn, can we get like the illuminated kit with like the plaster on the outside and a fancy smancy box? But I'm not upset with this. I'm actually quite impressed. Kim Kardashian West. Thank you very much. So when you guys receive the package, as you see, it comes in this cardboard box, just like a normal box. But like I said earlier, I was like impressed with the inside KKW Beauty verbiage written on there. It also has like this pink little paper that comes in it as well. So I got a chance to purchase a few things. I got two concealers in a number 11 and 12. And I also got the brighten power power the brighten powder and i also got the baking powder so i'm really excited to open these up the package and everything looks really clean and neat i did not feel that i need to pick up the brush because i already have both of the brushes from the previous kit as you guys know i did do a review on her first concealer and contour sticks and the contour kit that she came out with which i wasn't that pleased with as you guys know or you probably think i'm like super biased to kim kardashian which i probably am but i'm going to keep it real if i don't like a product i'm not going to say i like a product so that concealer stick needs some work it's super drying and just like not even for my oily skin like it was just a hot mess so i'm going to jump into all of the details and the good stuff that you guys came here for but before we jump into it you guys already know the drill if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and if you do enjoy this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up at the end and without further ado let's just jump into this review Drop top Porsche, roll you on my wrist, Red. diamonds up and down my chain. Uh -huh. Cardi B. So I went ahead and applied my foundation and eyeshadow because that's not the focal point of this video. So I want to go ahead and jump into the packaging and how big everything is, the component sizes compared to other concealers that I use. So I felt like my approach to this video was going to be a strict comparison between the KKW Beauty and my all-time favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is my ride or die. Like I use it sparingly because I like to use it when I'm going out for long nights or photo shoots and things of that nature. But I'm going to be doing a side by side comparison so you guys can see in live time, real time, how the KKW Beauty really stands up and if it's worth your buck. So like I said earlier, I got a chance to pick up two of the concealers. I got the color 12 and the color 11, which at first glance, they do look kind of light. I was able to watch about two or three black girls reviews and i think like the 98 percent of the rest was like white girls so i was basing my judgment off i think makeup shayla i feel like we're not that much difference in color so i feel like i could you know highlight using the same shade that she did i normally like to highlight one or two shades lighter sometimes three depending on how bold i want to be so this is the packaging as you can see it's really clean and neat just like she always comes out with it still has that nude type of color to it as well and once you open up the packaging it does have the doe foot applicator which is one of my favorite types of applicators because it just applies really really soft and seamless so that was the color 11 and this is the shade 12 I don't know if you guys can really tell a difference in the color okay yes I can on camera this is 11 and this is 12 it's a little bit darker I feel like 12 is something that will work a little bit better for me it does kind of remind me of the shape tape colors i also have to mix these two so if, if i do have to mix both of these I'll, that's not like a notch against her i have to mix concealers nine times out of ten anyway i'll swatch those in a little bit i also wanted to compare the sizes the kkw beauty is 0.162 ounces and the tarte shape tape is 0.3381 ounces as you can see it's almost double the size of the kkw beauty all of her um, concealers and powders retail for $18, while the Shape Tape retails for $27. So 
you get you know less for a less amount of money here and a lot for a little bit more money here I use concealer almost every day well not every day I use concealer anytime I wear makeup let's say that because I don't use it when I go to work I don't even wear makeup at work but I do feel like just looking at the package or the size of this package I will probably run out really quickly so I feel like 18 is kind of like a medium price It's not too high-end it's definitely not a drugstore but I think it's fair enough and we'll just check in at a later date to see how long it lasts me so next I guess we can jump into the baking powder super cute packaging as well I got the color or the number three I felt like three was just like my best guess when I was looking at the shades online because of course the number four like the orange baking powder I don't know like I couldn't really get with that so I just felt like three would have to work for me Although seeing the girls with much more fair skin tones than I have, they also use number three, so I'm kind of skeptical about it. Oh my God, this packaging, like in person, it really, oh my God, it looks so good. On the videos that I've been watching, it does it no justice. Like, this is so freaking cute. It comes like in this clear plexiglass type of container. You guys can see the KKW Beauty there probably. Now you can. So super, super cute, clean nude pastels I'm all about it Libra I'm all about it so I'm going to try to open this up this out like I don't understand why they always package it like that to where you either have to break a nail or you need to get tweezers which I'm not mad at it because I'll probably be complaining if it wasn't there because I would be like losing powder in transit to me and I'm going to get out a couple of more baking powder so you guys can see the comparison in size so just for comparison i haven't even like touched it let me see let me touch it so yeah the powder is super fine like it it feels like i don't know it feels really thin and just smooth i know a lot of people say baby powder maybe that's what it is but i feel like it's almost finer than baby powder like it doesn't really have a consistency to it it seems really light and kind of like a sheer glow type of um baking powder so i want to compare the size of the component with other powders so the kkw beauty is 0.123 ounces for example the maybelline fit me <laughs> look at that that is like i can this one can eat the kkw beauty one this one is 0.7 ounces so that's about like six times bigger than this one and this one you can get at the drugstore i think for like less than 10 bucks so that's really good i also want to compare the laura mercier which is one ounce and as you can see again pretty big variance there in the size so in this one I think retails I'm not really sure maybe like 29 or 30 dollars so you do get more for more money but again like I feel like if you're an avid user of translucent powder you need a lot because you can go through this stuff really quickly I feel like I can bake with this today and I'll like expunge it all so I also wanted to be fair and also compare it to the bye bye pores by it cosmetics because this is something that I also use under my foundation every time I go for a full coverage look and this one is 0.23 ounces in comparison to the KKW Beauty and not that big of a difference but still about double the size you guys probably really can't appreciate that because her packaging is so bulky but I'll leave the prices of everything on the side so you can see like a direct comparison and one interesting thing that I'm peeping out as I'm looking at my makeup drawer is that the Kylie Jenner highlighter this is the loose uh, pigment highlighter this one is 0.14 ounces and you get more in the Ky the Kylie Jenner highlighter than you do in KKW Beauty's translucent powder. And I believe this one retails for like 15 or 14 bucks. So I'm just saying. So what else do we need to talk about? Oh yeah, the brightening powder. So not a lot of people were saying like they don't use the brightening technique, but I've been using this technique for about a month now and I have a couple different powders that I've been using trying to get like into my groove to see what works best for me. So today I'm also going to be using the KKW Beauty Under Eye Brightening Powder or the Laura Mercier, not sure, decisions. But I'm also going to be using like the full, we're going to mirror exactly what we do on each side. It's just going to be different products. So I picked up the brightening powder, same packaging. I love this packaging, it's so clean, like oh my God. I picked up the brightening power in shade number three because again, shade number four, which was supposed to be like on the deeper end of the spectrum was a little bit too orange. So I didn't even wanna go there and try that one. So again, cute, cute packaging. Like this is, these are like collector's items, I feel like. These are so cute. Like I just wanna sit these on my freaking vanity and just let them sit there. So. As you open it up, it comes with a mirror, which I'm impressed. Like, 
I like that. It comes with a mirror. That's cute. As you can see, it's a yellow tone. Not as yellow as I would prefer. I, my Ben Nye is my ride or die, tried and true. Well, actually, I mean, I don't know. They look kind of similar. I'm going to be using this one on the opposite side today, but that's the comparison with the Ben Nye and the KKW Beauty. So I'm kind of excited to see what it does. Like, I'm super excited because I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews and I don't know. I think for the purpose of this video, because I want to make sure I'm maximizing the potential of her products and not being like shady, I'm going to use my normal techniques that I always use to make sure that my makeup is at its best. So I'm going to be using my beauty blenders for all of my applications today. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the application. I'm so excited. Okay, so first I'm going to be going in with the KKW Beauty. I'm going to be going in with the number 12 to conceal. And we're going to be doing the KKW Beauty on this side and all of my go-to products on this side. So it's looking really full coverage as I apply it. It has kind of like an orange tint to it. I probably apply it like way too much. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit of number 11 on top just to see. I feel like this one is a little bit more neutral than 12. I don't want it to be like super orange. Just pay attention to how it blends out so we don't have to do a side by side. So I'm going to take my beauty sponge and just blend that all out. It's blending out really... Uh, I'm having to put a little bit more force on it than I typically do to blend it out. It looks like it may dry a little quick, but it is blending out and it is keeping the same amount of coverage. I feel like right on the inner corner, I might have to go in and just add a little bit more because it just kind of dissipated a little bit and I still see some darkness peeking through. But I think that blends it out really nicely. I don't think I had to work too hard, but I did use a little bit more force than I normally do. I'm going to go ahead and do my smile lines as well. This side, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight one side of my forehead. And I'll go ahead and do the entire nose. And I use number 12 to conceal the rest of my face. So it is blending out really smoothly. I mean, I don't have any problems with it at all. Like, I'm liking the way it's blending out. I feel like I should have just put a little bit more in the corner just because even though it does, does it claim to be full coverage? Let me see. I'm going to put y'all up on game in a little bit. But what do you guys think? I think this is a total 180 from the concealer stick because that stuff was like... I mean, it like literally when you put it on, it just dried in place and you it would not budge. And I feel like this is a definitely a step up. It's definitely full coverage and it's easy to blend. I know I had to work a little bit harder because I may have let it sit there for a while. But when I say easy to blend, it kind of just like melts into your skin and it doesn't look super cakey. And it still gives me like that flawless under eye look. So I'm going to go in with number 12 a little bit more on the inner corner just to brighten that up. And as you can see, it's when I put it on and start blending out immediately, it does blend out a little bit easier. And I also had that same problem with my shape tape when I first started using it. I would literally conceal my entire face and then start working it in and it would just be drying up in certain places. And at first I was like, eh, but then it turned out to be one of my favorite concealers. So, so now on this side, I'm going to do the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to be going in with the colors Deep and Tan Sand. So I feel like mixing these two are pretty much the same. Like the deep is a little bit darker than number 12, but and I always like to mix the tan sand with the deep because I feel like it's just a little bit matchy-matchy with my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but like that one spreads so easily and it's just like literally that little bit goes a long way. You can but I feel like working them in, I mean, I don't have to work that much harder, but I do feel like with the shape tape, literally you just kind of tap and go and it blends out seamlessly to perfection. But more so than anything, we're trying to see like if the colors look good, if they match up, if you know, both sides hold up without creasing. Okay, so we've concealed and I do see a little creasing on the KKW Beauty side. I'm gonna zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a little bit of creasing. I gotta make a crazy face so you guys can see. A little bit of creasing there. little bit there but I feel like this one is a little bit more vivid but all in all like the colors do look good they look similar and I feel like both sides are moisturizing and not too drying so right now I am pleased with the finish for both of them I'm really pleased with the finish of both but more so for the purpose of this video the KKW Beauty is definitely giving me vibes to where I might be using this a lot more Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and bake because I'm creasing and we cannot have that. So I'm gonna be going in, I'm so scared, I'm scared. I'm gonna be going in with the number three powder. And it is a very fine, like, yellow powder. I'm gonna be using my beauty blender like I always do. But you know what? I watched, like, the videos with Mario and Kim and I feel like he used a brush to apply the baking powder so I'm going to do that because I don't want to like mess it up because I heard like using a damn beauty blender can sometimes I don't know make it like stick and adhere to your faces and cling to patches and you don't want that so I'm going to go in with my Morphe E48 and first I'm going to tap it in to get rid of the creasing and then I'll be baking on top of that so you just want to work it into the creases and I'm just going to be applying it Ooh. It's really fun. I'm gonna bake everywhere I normally bake. Okay, so now that we have that side applied, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Ben Nye powder on the left side and just bake as I normally would. So I will say the KKW Beauty powder did apply very like light and airy and very fluffy. I don't feel a lot on this side. The Ben Nye powder definitely has its presence. You can feel that mill like on your face and it's a little more thickly milled than this one. So um, I feel like this one is looking a little more ashy vibes than just setting or baking. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my bottom lash um, eyeshadow as I normally would and then I'll be back to sweep everything off and then go in with the brightening. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my bottom eyeshadow and some mascara as I typically will when I do my makeup routine. So now I'm going to go ahead and swipe away the powders. First, I'm going to start with the KKW Beauty side so you guys can see what happens. So I'm just going to start by sweeping off the excess. So I think we're good. I'm just going to go ahead and sweep that off and sweep off my nose. Only thing with this brush, you can't get like up under the mascara. So my lights are super bright to where I can't really tell if I have like a cast right here. But at first glance, it did sweep away really easily. Um, it has a little bit of like an, a luminosity vibe going on. I'm not really sure what that is. If we still have to go in with the brightening powder, I feel like ugh, we're already kind of bright. But Kim K is known for that. So I'm just going to kind of blend that in just to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines. I don't know, child. So I'm going to go ahead and sweep off this side as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face as I typically would. Like I said, I want to make sure I'm maximizing the products and not just trying to use them as a standalone because that's not what I would typically do in my makeup routine. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Makeup Forever Studio Finish. Oh, crap. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Foundation in the color 143. And I'm just going to set my face as I typically would. I just feel like in your reviews you need to give these products a fair chance like nobody's going to just put on baking powder and then just call it a day like they're going to go in and contour obviously but you still want to make sure that everything is blended out seamlessly and you're not just around here looking like a ghost like i said my lights are really bright so i can't really tell like 
you guys can see the a clear difference if there is one, right? Like this is the KKW Beauty, this is the Ben Nye. So if there's a clear difference, you guys will be able to say, oh, I like this side better or I don't. But right now, um, I do feel like this side is more matte and this side is more like has like a luminous feel going on here. It kind of reminds me of like the Becca Shimmer Lights one. Hold on. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the brightening powder in number three. So I'm going to go in with the number three powder. Just pick it up on my brush like that. As you can see, it seems like it's pretty pigmented. I don't want to mess this up. So I'm going to take that and dab it um, under my eye. And whenever you're brightening your under eye, you want to keep it like focused on right here. You don't want to bring it down because that's not the purpose of it. So again, this does have some luminosity to it. I feel like the baking powder and the brightening powder is like the same thing. One is just in a loose form and one is in a compact form. But don't judge me. That's just my opinion. Because this one is just a little more vivid since it's that compact. And then we pick it right up and just, I don't know, dab it there. I'm going to zoom you guys in. I mean, I don't know, like... It doesn't, I like my under eyes to be super bright and like super popping. So I'm not like too mad at it right now. It just gives me that nice natural glow. Like I love it. And of course, like everything has to set in. I haven't set my foundation yet. I haven't used any settings. Well, I set my foundation, but I haven't used any setting spray to kind of melt everything in. So, hmm, I guess we'll see. So I'm going to go in with my little <laughs> sample size of the Kat Von D. I make sure I use all my samples before I freaking go into the actual container. I'm just going to be setting that right here as well. So that's the difference between the KKW Beauty and the Kat Von D. Again, this side is like completely matte. This side has like a luminous feel to it, but it's not like super like dewy. Like if you have oily skin, I wouldn't say don't get it because it has a luminosity to it. I just feel like that's the components of the brightening powders. Like you need to have those like glowing aspects to make it pop it's doing something a little weird to where it's clinging but you know again new techniques every time i do my makeup i use a new technique so i just feel like i need to give it a fair chance it's not bothering me too much it's just i can since you if i have like any texture i didn't use any eye cream so if i do have any texture under my eyes then um the highlighting powder will kind of cling to that texture and make it more noticeable i don't know if it's coming across on screen that way but i can just tell in person but Honestly, I'm not like, it's okay. I'm not like mad at it. So I'm going to go ahead and contour and highlight and finish my makeup. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my makeup. And I did get a chance to actually get out of the studio lights and go into the bathroom. And I must say that when I look in the mirror, I can tell a distinct difference between this side and the new KKW Beauty side. This right here is just like, it's not even like an, like a, how can I explain it? It's not even just like a true brightening under eye. Like you look like you just have a glow under your eye. It's like literally kind of like a stark white. And it just clings. And I feel like it gives me bags that aren't even like really there. Like that's the thing about these studio lights. You really have to be careful. Like when you do your makeup in a setting like this, you have to make sure that you go in the bathroom every now and again and make sure you're not looking too drag queenish. And you want to make sure everything is seamless and natural. I'm in love with this side right now. I don't know how I feel. So I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face and just see maybe if everything melts together. I'm going to be going in with the Gerard Slay All Day setting spray. Okay, so I went ahead and set my face with the setting spray. And again, I just, I mean, I feel like this side on average out of 10, I will give myself like a 7 because... I can't get over this part. Like, everything else looks really good. Like, the look came together. I keep, like, my nose is itching so bad. Like that. So, um, you know, everything looks good. It came together, but I just can't get over. Let me zoom in. Like, can you guys see, like, this clinginess right here? Like, it's like a bright, I don't know. It's just like, it looks kind of like white dust is just sitting on top of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and do a flash test for you guys to see like what the tea is. I don't know if I should cut off the lights or not, but we'll see how this works. What it does. Oh God, I'm going through Kim K. 
So she definitely passed the flashback test. What do you want to start with? The consistency of the concealers. I think out of 10, she definitely gets a 9 for this because they are full coverage, super creamy. I'm giving her a knockoff for the freaking size. I should give her an 8 because this is really small. And the fact that I have to go back in and kind of like double it up to make sure that none of the darkness was peeking through. I think that's why I give her a 9. But all in all, I love the packaging. The formula is really nice. And the fact that she upgraded from that crayon is like the bomb.com. So I definitely will recommend the concealers. $18 is not that much. They do have other options out there that are really, really good as well. If you want to stay with the drugstore, they have options. I mean, NYX is one of my favorite. They also have Maybelline, which is really good. And ColourPop. I didn't compare like any of the other concealers because my focal point was Tarte, but ColourPop as well, these are only $6. And as you can see, the size comparison, ColourPop is big is bigger than this one as well. ColourPop is point one four ounces. Wait, that's not right. Wow. So ColourPop is point one four ounces, and KKW Beauty is point one six two ounces. So let that sink into your sinkhole. So next, let's go ahead and talk about the baking powder. I mean, I can't even get over this packaging. Forget the formula and everything else. This packaging is just so cute. And I feel like, can you repurpose this? Like, I need to know. So the powder, mm, is it a must-have? I mean, it's cute. The fact that it didn't flash back, I did feel like I looked a little bit ashy. And I do feel like, because I do have that extra brightening effect, in comparison to the, the Kat Von D, this side just does look a little bit more luminous. This, to me, the packaging is really, really small. If you guys do want to just try a new powder just to see like where you're at in terms of consistency and if you like it and see how long it lasts, I will recommend it. I mean, 18 bucks for a setting powder isn't that much. All the other setting powders I have are more expensive than this one, except the Ben Nye. Of course, you guys know that that one's like $5, $6. You can get it anywhere. And it's a lot of competitive uh, setting powders out there in the market. But if you guys just want to try this one, I would recommend it. But it's not something that you just absolutely need. It, but I do think that it has that brightening and luminous effect to it. So if you guys like more of a mattifying under eye, then I wouldn't recommend it. But if you guys do want to try something a little bit different, then I would recommend the loose setting powder as well. So the last thing I want to talk about is the brightening powder. Um, I don't know how I feel about the brightening powder. I'm still on the fence. I do mix brightening powders as well, so I feel like if I mix this one with something that's a little more yellow or like dense, then maybe it will work a little bit better for me. I do have a couple of Maybelline powders that are more of like on that camel -y yellow end of the spectrum instead of like the sunlight type of... I don't know what color this is, but it's really pastel. Like, it's giving me spring vibes for sure and eyeshadow vibes. But this one is a little bit bright. Um, I'm going to work with it. I don't want to just waste my money and throw it to the side. But I'm going to work with it and see how I can make it work for my makeup looks. Um, if you do like that extra under the eye glow and just kind of like va va voom in your face and something really bold, I would recommend this. I mean, it's 18 bucks. The packaging is super cute. Again, I feel like... With these, with these uh, makeup products, you're paying for the packaging and then, like, for the quality. Even though the quality isn't bad, I'm not trying to shade it. But I'm just saying, like, I would pay for this packaging any day and then, like, not even care what's on the inside. Do I think you need the brightening powder in your life? No, not really. It just depends on what you're trying to achieve with your makeup look. So I would recommend this just to try once again. But if you're not looking for anything like this and if you don't need it it's not like a necessity but if you just want to have fun and try something new i will recommend this and out of the three i would definitely say that my concealers or the concealers are my favorite out of the three purchases i feel like hey that's the end of this video i mean you guys can look at my face and see which side you like best i did the exact same thing that i did over here just using different products so for me i feel like the tart side looks better but this one does have like that under eye glow and it just kind of stands out a little bit more but yeah so I'm not upset with my purchases I've purchased like everything she's came out with so far and this is probably my favorite collection I cannot wait to see more so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you already know what to do give your girl a thumbs up don't be a hater and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already and until my next video I'll see you guys very very soon thanks for watching Jason it can't tell me Let the boss up and I change the game Just give it It's my big bronze boogie Got all them girls shook, shook. My big fat ass Got all them boys cooked, cooked. I'm from Dollar Bills